It was the firefighters union rallying today ahead of the second public hearing on congestion pricing. As CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports, they want the personal cars of FDNY members to be exempt from tolls. Firefighters say their gear is heavy, up to 80 pounds, and they note it can be covered in dangerous chemicals. If you've been to a fire, it's carrying carcinogens. On that bunker gear is, contains arsenic, asbestos, benzene. For these reasons, they say FDNY members' personal cars should be exempt from congestion pricing because carrying all of that equipment, they say, on mass transit is not practical or safe. When they get to their firehouse, they may be reassigned to another firehouse that day based on staffing needs. It happens probably a couple of hundred times a day. Members will then be crossing in and out of the congestion pricing zone. And I thought that was important for us to understand that, that concern. We're in discussions with the city, who is their employer. Normally when an employer says, you got to travel a certain way to carry equipment or, uh, or to you know, carry uh, uh, material, they, they compensate you for the cost of that. Others argued for exemptions for those who need their vehicles to do business. We cannot place another economic burden on over 50,000 New York City cab drivers. New York's small local trucking companies who cannot afford to absorb these costs. The Central Business District Tolling Program, or congestion pricing, calls for trucks to pay a once daily toll of $24 to $36, depending on size, and passenger vehicles $15 if they drive on 60th Street and south of that. The FDR Drive, West Side Highway, and QL Carry Tunnel connection to West Street are exempt. The goal, the MTA says, is cleaner air, a reduction of traffic, and billions of dollars for transit projects like new subway cars and more accessible stations. Others at the hearing applauded it. We need more elevators. We need modern stations. We need modern signals. We need more modern system. We have absolute gridlock out there. We need to free this up. The last two public hearings will be held Monday at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. As for when they could decide on those exemptions. We have to hold the hearings and then after a certain amount of time we can take action but we've not set a date for that final action. The toll readers are set to activate in June. In Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. For more information on the next public hearing on congestion pricing, just go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.